the battlefront battlefield excuse me battlefield four um yeah they also showed battlefield four gameplay which i thought was cool it looked nice yeah that was cool and then uh, let's go into playstation 4 a little bit all right it's gonna be coming in at 400 dollars when it releases there's gonna be multiple versions i hear and uh they may be cheaper than 400 dollars if you buy the right version um some of the playstation exclusives include killzone shadowfall infamous second son the sequel to the sequel to the game where he's this badass lightning shooting guy so you can turn evil or good and shoot blue or red lightning depending on whether you're evil or good and just kill people for fun i thought it was cool and then there's drive club which is going to be the driving game that's going to counter forza 5 which is cool and then um they also showed watchdogs gameplay there's a lot of that out there so it wasn't anything special but i just thought it was cool because that, that game is like grand theft auto but you're like a hacker which i thought was cool and then uh they also announced that Elder Scrolls Online will be coming to next gen, and it's going to be played best on the PlayStation 4, yada yada yada, that's what they all said. And they also showed Destiny gameplay, which is that new Bungie MMO thing. That looked really good. I love, I mean, I love Bungie, they do a lot of good stuff. They did Halo 1, 2, 3, and Reach, and ODST. Um, so, I'm excited for that a lot. I mean, it looked really good. It's like Borderlands 2 if it was HD with awesome graphics. And then, um... PlayStation 4 really did well with the, they support used games, so you don't have to go to the store and get a code like you do for Xbox, and um, your uh, PlayStation Network account, which is that like free Xbox Live thing or whatever, it will carry over to PlayStation 4, so you don't have to buy a new one. I don't know what, what the story is with Xbox regarding the new uh, Xbox Live, I think is what it is now. I, li I have an Xbox, I have Xbox Live, and I would not want to pay another $60 to make a new account for the next console. I hope they do something about that if I get Xbox One. Um, yeah, so that was mostly that. And then, uh, is there anything else I want to touch base on? Um, yeah, no, I guess that's really it. All right, guys, you know, thanks for tuning in. This is a special short video regarding, you know, next-gen consoles and where we're at with that. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, there will be more of these to come as we gain progress through the summer with more next gen news this is tyke and the, the two river you are here with chris and i'm signing off